Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid. I'm coming back again to play Iconoclasts. This is a game that came out, I think, a year or two ago. One that I've been looking forward to playing. It's a side-scrolling action game. I actually don't know anything about it. This is a completely blind playthrough. Let me see here. Do a little adjusting for my volume here. I'm pretty excited, though. Um, anyway, I did load it up just to see how it loaded, but I didn't actually make it into the game, so let's, uh, let's try and standard today. This is just something kind of relaxed, something a little bit more story based, something that I can kind of, you know, it kind of zone out a little bit more when I'm playing. I don't have to worry too much about planning, to my knowledge, anyway. Um, but we'll see how this goes. This will be fun. Um, if you guys like it, you know, let me know. Um, I'll try to keep the, uh, I'll try to put the playlist in the description down below and, you know, links to get the game if you guys like it. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll play a couple, uh, couple episodes of this and see how it goes. Still do Starbound, probably still do RimWorld, get back to Terraria eventually. And, uh, but now, let's play this one for a little bit. Oh, we got an explosion. Let's go see what that is. Ooh, we got Jump. And we got shoot. Look at that blaster. That's a blaster straight out of Cave Story. My God. Beautiful graphics. I love. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Telling me how to play the game. Beautiful. What is that? A broken thing. Oh, this must be a save point. Beautiful. Let's save this. This game is so cute looking. I think this is made by one dude, too, over a, a period of time. Look at how beautiful this is. I love it. I love it. Um, I always go right first. Let's try left. Got our save point. Got through that. Music's delightful. <gasps> um, Let me guess. Wall jump. Wait, wait. Oh, we got to get up to it. And then, yeah, okay. Ooh! It's got a, kind of an autofocus for shooting. I like that. We gotta be facing the right direction. I don't want to drop down there. That's back where I was. I'll just drop down. Beautiful. Pro procured impro Improvium. Alright. Beautiful. Oh, you... Bastard, you dickbag. Alright, let's keep scooting. <gasps> oh, shit. We can charge it up. Oh, shit. oh, does it have a cooldown? It's got a cooldown. Now, what is this? This is something we have to activate, and I think it's a save point. If I had to guess. Boom. Nice. Metallium. Very cool. Oh, this game is really, really... It's delightful. Oh, goodness. The hell is going on in this place? What is going on in here? Give me a little fright. Um, that looks a little dangerous. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. And see y'all coming. Now you're gonna roll down at us. Oh, you're gonna bounce down at us. I should probably be shooting. I'm guessing you're gonna pop straight up. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I missed it. Got that charge off, though. Nope. And yeah, this ain't Mega Man, I tell you that. Woo, that was close. Beautiful. I, I wasn't even paying attention to how much damage I was doing with that charge shot, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm a big fan of Mega Man. I'm not good at it. 
I mean, if you've ever seen me play, you know I'm not good at it, but I'm a huge fan of the progression, you know, getting new materials and, and like more getting new weapons and stuff. But so I'm more of a fan of Mega Man X where you get the armor upgrades and stuff and you like have to find them. And it's this just that feeling of progression. If you've ever watched uh, Eagle Raptors, uh, Aaron ha Hansen's uh, sequelitis on Mega Man X, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, that feeling of progression. Ooh, little scoots. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We moving. Let's get them. You don't even... You know, <laughs> this would be straight up. You don't even have to press down to get through these things. Like, you auto-crouch. I wonder if that's a control thing. Like, I wonder if that's under controls, because... I'm I'm wondering if there's a uh if standard mode has like in, includes the aim assist if that's what's up. So I'm guessing I can't get through this thing yet. It's only the yellow ones. Yeah. All right. Back up here. Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. How how would you ever notice that? You wouldn't. That's how. All right. So we went that way. We checked that out. One concern. Tell me more. I'm guessing there's something to see inside right now. I should have saved. Oh, yay. She's here. I'm Agent Black, and this is my partner, Agent White. Now, let's see here. Citizen file. Name Robin. Age 17. Status. Soul House resident. No assigned occupation. Daughter of Polro, mechanic of for the concern, who died two months ago, leaving his daughter living alone. Oh, that's all bad. That's just sad. And you guys only had one bed in the place? Damn. Uh, well, that's your backstory out of the way. Time to get a job, right? Oh, she pissed now. Rumor, rumors circulate the air. They whisper that the mechanic's daughter may be picking up his wrench. Could there be truth to this? The most horrid of accusations. Liar! We've heard things. Ugh, my head. Well, anyway, reports on Polro's death say he was killed by some unfortunate accident. Well, assets can be replaced. Question is, what things could be passed down to his little darling? What could she do with it? Perhaps she's running about, fixing the mechanical problems of the poor people in the village, like a little heroine of handiwork. There's already been a lot of penance in that settlement. Might you not say you could be part of the reason? Liar! I know your type. <laughs> anyway, private practice is a sin, and a private mechanic for worse. Sinners need to be punished. He, the Almighty, dislikes secrets, and ivory fuel should not be touched by improper hands, like the hands of a mechanic. If we all just chose our profession, nothing in this world would ever get done. He just wants balance, my dear. But, we didn't find any tools around this house. And you only seem to be carrying that tiny excuse for a stun gun. Not in the mood for hunting contraband, but Settlement 17 has been needing a lot less repairs recently. Somebody's twisting some nuts. Oh, hold it! White, shut up. I dig these characters already. Hmm. Something bigger has come up. He's been spotted. Let's go, White. We're gonna have to leave Robin to her own devices for the hour. Let's hope she waits patiently here. She still has a date with fate. Damn, dude. That, that dude's intense. Some serious Fujin Raijin feelings from that. Some good shit. Oh, shit. You know all about it. You knew what was going on that entire time. Oh, come on. What's down there? It's, it's, it's too obvious. And, like, you get that feeling that there's something, like, up here, right above us, and also over there. I don't know. I get that feeling. How do I interact with it? Yes. There we go. Procured wrench. Beautiful. We doing it. Oh, shit. Now we can hit things with a wrench. Oh, we can flourish. That. Look at that shit. Holy hell. Oh, damn. You can use the triggers for this stuff. 
Oh, that'll make things actually pretty nice. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot, man. Now, let's see. Okay, we already know that stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go test this bitch out. Well, we'll save first, and then... And then we'll go test this bitch out. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Delightful music. Just... This is just loads of fun. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, okay. So there's no... There's no... It's just a, like a swing mechanic. It's not a... You don't have to... There's no getting better swings. It's just you press the button. But we got some sweet-ass improvium! Going around breaking shit. That's what we gonna do. What's this about? During inspections, the road may be closed. At no time should any citizen try to open the roads by use of illegal tools. I'll give you illegal tools. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. Jump and... Down smash! Boom, baby. Okay, I'm feeling it. It's good. Yeah, let's try it out. Oh, stomp on that punk. Get dealt with some. We got some serious... We got some serious, serious Mario action going on here. Now, I wonder if there's anything... Can we deal with these in some way? I'm guessing this is like... Like that sort of upgrade situation where we need to get a pow more powerful weapon to actually damage those. Just like we need to get a better upgrade for a gun to break those, uh, overstun. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. Hell yeah. Okay. We doing it. We doing it. We get moving. Okay, so this you do actually have to attack him twice. Beautiful. Okay, so that's how to get back through. This is how to get up. Good, good, good. Oh hell. Oh, nice! It's got lock on for the drop down too. That's um pretty nice. Okay, some lock-on for the drop-down, I guess? Beautiful. Oh, he's so good. He feels very nice. Oh, this game's got a nice, sweet feel to it. And the sound, too. Like, the sound goes from left to right in the... In the this is a beautifully constructed game. Yeah, if you guys like watching this, like... If you're down, if you want to see more this type of game and stuff, I'm definitely down with doing it. Like, um, I got... Oh, what's this? What are you? Who's to say? Um, I've got Owlboy I want to play more of. Um, I'd definitely be willing to play that on the... on the channel. Okay, so upgrade some sort for this, I'm guessing. Yeah, because you can't control it, like, left or right or anything. It's just... Oh! That's right, you got stomp, punk. Didn't even know what was happening there. I was like, I'm gonna use my stomp attack. That's That seems to be useful recently. I, I guarantee, though, I'm gonna forget, like, all the tools that I have, so... If you have any tips, if you played this game before, you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. For real. All right, let's try the. Let's try that on him. Yeah, good. Oh, I see you. I see you, you bastard. Come on, you can't tell me I don't drop down from there at some point. Oh, I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. I see what I'm supposed to do there. Supposed to bounce off, off that guy. Is he gonna come back? Please come back. I need you to come back, please. It'd be quite helpful to me, actually. Uh, 
Oh! I don't need you. I just need to be a little bit more perceptive. Alright, that's fine. You know, what can you say about that, really? Alright. Climb over this beast. Get through here. Oh. Wait a second. Oh. Because we ain't been up here yet. Boom, baby. Oh, we can't shoot from the ladder. Okay. That's how you get more health. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. I gotta. I gotta get this. I gotta work this out here. This is kind of a mechanic where you can like jump off of things immediately. Oh, I missed it. That's a damn shame. Alright, baby. Man, stomp him straight into oblivion. That's terrifying. Okay, I see the key. I'm guessing I have to lift this bitch up. Somehow? Or it's a sign and I'm... Oh, this is that save point thing again where I'm like... I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing here? Can I do anything with it? Maybe it's a save point. Still not sure about that. Who knows? Now, is that one like temporary? Or... I have no idea. Alright, let's keep scooting here. Settlement 17. That's where we're going, baby. That's where we going at. Beautiful bright colors in this game, though. Okay, so we need to adjust the one. Get that up. Get that way up there. Alright, so that's locked back in place. Beautiful, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now. Huh. Okay. Now, before we get to that, let's just kind of check out what's over here. Oh, this is just a quick back area. Just a quick... You know, sometimes you gotta check, you know? Sometimes you just gotta know what's over there. On the other side. All right, let's see. I don't know what the green flash bit is. Is that like, is that like when I can attack it? Do I have to attack it? Oh, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know if I actually have to... I needed to do something there, though, didn't I? Well, let's try that again. I needed to crush it, I bet. I bet that's what I needed to do. Let's get back to it. that help me? Did that do anything for me? I'm actually quite confused. I'm not sure that did anything. At all. Hmm. Um, interesting. Very, very Oh, we've got a key. My dumbass, I swear. But I learned how to kill that thing. Whatever. Let's get moving. Boom. Let's get through it. Get to it. Another save point. Excellent. What is going on in this children's palace right here? Oh, no. It's a cathedral. All right. 
going on, Gramps? Always remind yourself of what's important about life and faith. Anything you want to know about? One concern. The one concern exists to keep the heathens from perverting our faith, and to enforce his will of a preserved, untouched planet. One concern, agents... Uh, one concern, agents share the same holy life essence as Mother. Like, Mother Brain... Mother is our link between him and ourselves. We pray to her and she turns, pra uh, turns praise to his ear. From her prayer chamber in City One. Mother is gifted to the power to control the shape of our world. Just like the rest of our lineage. Their blood is that of the angels. City One is where you should aspire to live. There is no penance there. But sins will still get you banished back to the outside. Progenarians. The progenarians are the caretakers of our churches and our local links to the mother. They do not speak outside of sermons. They only listen to our plights. Sounds sounds right. Ivory is the energy that enables all, all our technology and electricity. It was bestowed upon us by him to let us lead lives of comfort. Only mechanics and engineers blessed by mother's own hand may touch ivory. The most, the most a commoner can do is uh, th handle the ivory batter batteries handed to them. Good to know. I feel like I know everything now. Sup, champ? Look at that lady in the background. Is that mother? That's gotta be mother. She looks attractive, I'm just saying. Gotta figure out what to do with these bad boys right here. All right, let's keep scooting. Um, mysterious stranger. What's up, champ? Ah! <laughs> I've heard of you. You might have heard of me. But that doesn't matter anymore. You are curious and handy. If you are truly capable, perhaps we can meet again. Sorry for the terrible voice acting, by the way. I believe in you. I really didn't know what to do with that, that first part. I just unexpected, you know, it's a masked person. Like, I feel like she'd do, like, like a, a creepy deep voice, like, or something. I don't know. Hey, Robin, you look well. I'm glad. Did your brother schedule you again? Well, Elro is not home yet, but he might be back at any point. He should have been on, on work leave three days ago. So, did you hear about that house eight, about house eight and agents running around? I really admire what you're doing, but you need to start being careful and think about dangers involved. If you still want to see Elro, you might want to go visit some of your friends in case he doesn't turn up. Let's break some stuff. Just gonna break some things around here. Let's go check out number house number five. Oh, see? It's like the Master Sword and shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, my bad. I just slept in your house. Whatever. Hey, Robin! I just made my bed! Sorry. What would you do if I slept in this one? Nothing at all. It's not your bed. I just want to sneak around and see if I can find things here. Guess not. Let's see what's in six here. <gasps> Is that a Robo Chef? Are you a Robo Chef? Chemical Contra. Working for the one concern, Chemico Company can be pretty conflicting. Me and my sympathizing chemist friends have formed the Chemico Contra. I don't know if he's actually a robot, but he just kind of looks like one. He's probably actually just a chemist. We work in secret to discover the way to power things other than rare, using rare and expensive ivory fuel in the interest of helping people. If we ever meet one another in public, we don't, we don't acknowledge each other for the safety of our cause. Right now, though... I can only help out by lending you my tweak crafting table. <laughs> a lacking capacity to hold tweaks is a depressing sight. I do mend such tragedies, my grease monkey friend. Oh shit, added tweak stack slots. Now craft tweaks using craft tables. I will do that. I'm gonna do that now. Why, hello there, vigorous young Robin. So, want to borrow my tweak crafting table? Oh, you know it. Let's check it out. Let's see what's up with this. Actually, we'll do this next time, but, uh, tweaks are small, helpful, f uh, helpful, 
Uh, feature bonuses. You can make them at the workbenches provided you have the materials. The materials needed are mainly found in treasure chests around the world. Each tweak we list the number of materials needed. Equip tweaks at the save statues as long as you have one or more slots available. A slot is unusable if it is broken. Interesting. Oh, I see that. I see that. And then you have you get your health down to a certain point and that part breaks, I'm guessing. Slot is unusable if it's broken. Getting Robin damage will break the right most active slot. You will need ivory squares dropped by enemies, destroyed objects, or by... Unlocking paths to repair a broken spot or broken slot. Good to know. Iron heart. Oh, it's one. Whatever. One whatever else. What? Improvium, metallium, something and something else. Protects you against damage once. I. You know what the hell? Let's make it. I'm guessing that's something that that does re up or something. All right, we can't equip that right now. We got to go to a save statue. Get ourselves to a save statue. Which shouldn't be too hard. Community center. Center. Luckily Gotta break things off anyway, so let's do that. Um, let's quick quick the tweak, but um, you know the drill though. Start on the furthest left so it doesn't break uh, too quick. But um, yeah, you know the drill though. If you like me, if you like the channel, if you want to help out a little bit, the best thing you can do right now is do what you're doing. Watch. I always appreciate uh, having you by. It's, it's great playing games with you. It's a lot of fun. And if you got any friends you want to throw my way, ab absolutely do that. It is YouTube as well. Um, uh, so, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you uh, have any tips or tricks or games you want to see me play. If you want to see more of this game, definitely drop it in the comments. Um, and if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little alarm bell. Last but not least, if you got any uh, money you want to throw my way, you know, give me a little tip or something, you can uh, hit up coffee in the description down below uh, or uh, uh, on the main page. And you, uh, when I get Patreon set up, you'll be able to do that as uh, through the same avenues as well. I really appreciate it. I know the times are the times are tight and not everybody can contribute. So if you can't, you don't want to, I completely understand. Like I said, the best thing you can do is watch. And that's amazing in and of itself. So anyway, with that, thanks for checking out the video. From my OCORs, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.